Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics. And in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between series and parallel circuits. Uh, you see them both here. This one is a series circuit. So you have one wire coming out of the power source and it's going to all the different uh, electrical components and it doesn't split. So it's just one circle, as you can see. Parallel looks like this. And here it does split. You see that it's not one circle, but there are three ones. So one is given here to the first lamp, the other one is going to the second lamp and the last one is going to the last lamp. So this is parallel because they're all parallel to each other and this is a series just like watching TV. You watch the first one, then the second one and then the last one and here you watch them all together, which is of course a little bit strange when you're watching a series, so this is called parallel. So how does current and voltage behave in a series circuit? Uh, you can see it here. Uh, we have a, a battery which is giving 1.8 amperes uh, and 1.5 voltage and we have three lamps and they're identical so if we look at the amperes at this point then we know that the apes the amperes it's still 1.8 because they don't disappear and they have 1.5 volts then they go through the first lamp and here uh, it's still 1.8 amperes because they didn't disappear but they did leave a little bit of voltage they, they left one third of the voltage because they are going to uh, go pass through three lamps they're all the same so every lamp will get one third of the voltage which was at the beginning so 0.5 voltage was used by this lamp this lamp again uses 0.5 voltage so here the ampere still the 1.8 because they didn't disappear have only 0.5 voltage and here at the end they have zero voltage and always before they enter back into the power source they always have 0.0 volt that's a rule which you have to know so this is how a series circuit uh, works. So as you can see, uh, all the lamps get the same amount of current, which is also given by the, uh, by the power source, but their voltage is divided. So they don't get all the voltage from the power source, only a third in this case, because they have to divide by three. And if this lamp would be different, then it would get less or more uh, voltage. Uh, but now they're all the same. So they all get one third of the total voltage. Uh, there's a pro for this one. If you use this, uh, you don't need many cables. You just need a few cables to make this. So that's a, a positive thing with uh, the series circuit. Series circuit, sorry. Negative is if one cable or lamp breaks, then they all stop working. For instance, if this one here breaks, then they all stop working. Or if one of the lamps breaks, then they all stop working. So that's a negative thing about these. Uh, to counter that, we have parallel circuits. Parallel circuits look like this. So instead of one uh, circle you have now three different circles again we have the power source giving 1.5 amperes and uh, sorry 1.8 amperes and 1.5 volts so uh, if we check here the ampere the monkeys the apes sorry not the monkeys the apes they have 1.8 ampere and it's 1.5 volt and here and uh, they split and it's very important to know what splits because it's not the fault it's just split it's the ampere that split we have three identical lamps so the uh, ampere will split in three identical ways so here 1.2 amperes will continue and here 0.6 amperes will continue but the faults don't split and that's very important so here the 1.8 amperes uh, is divided by three uh, one third goes to this lamp two third will go continuing to this lamp because these will also get one third and the faults don't split and that's very strange uh, and you have to remember if you're walking out of the classroom and uh, you and your classmates all have like five books with you and you all go to a different way, uh, you all split. So that's the amperes, they split, but your books don't split. So you all still keep your five books. Just like these amperes, they still keep their 1.5 volts. They only lose their volts when they pass through an electrical component and they didn't, they just split. So they still have their 1.5 volts. This is very strange and very important to remember. So a part of the amperes, the 0.6 amperes will go through this lamp with their 1.5 volt and the 1.2 amperes will continue this road with also their 1.5 volts. Here they will split again. So uh, 0.6 amperes will continue on. So now the and a half because these two lamps will get uh, half of what's coming in and 0.6 amperes again with 1.5 volts will continue here. So if we look at this one, it goes through the lamp it comes here, the volts are being used and it's zero volts because now they will continue walking back to the battery. So they yeah, need to dump all their volts there. So here we have zero volts and 0 0.6 ampere because the ampere did not leave, they cannot leave. Here, um, these amperes which were going uh, through here are added to this one. So the 0 0.6 which was here uh, has gone through the lamp, lost it 1.5 uh, volts came here and now they are walking together back. So 0 0.6 to 
together with this 0 0.6 mates makes 1.2 ampere and again this one is also empty because it's going back to the battery well the same happens here uh, 1.8 amperes and 0, 0.0 volts because the ampere that went through here they lost their volts the lamp used it for working and now they uh, empty come in here so the 1.2 here plus the 0 0.6 is 1.8 so the 1.8 amperes which were in the beginning they're back again and they all lost their faults to different lamps. And this is how a parallel circuit works. And it's very important for you to remember that the ampere, the apes, they split, but what's in their bag, so the voltage that doesn't split, that's just been keep the same, that only goes lower when they go through an electrical component. So in short, um, there's also a positive thing. If one of these cables breaks, the rest will still work. So for instance, if this cable here breaks, then this lamp will not work anymore, but these two will still work. Of course, if this cable here or here breaks, then nothing will work. But if one of these cables breaks or if one of the lamps breaks, the rest will still work. So that's very positive. Negative is that you need a lot more cables uh, to make a parallel circuit. So now we have a mixed circuit like this. So these two are in series and these uh, are, are uh, get together parallel with this one. Uh, and with the two rules I now said about series and circuit, you should be able to determine uh, the current and voltage of all these lamps and the lower two lamps are identical. So now you should be able to determine uh, how much ampere and voltage is going through every lamp. So you know that 1.8 amperes is going out of the power source, it's going walking here and then 1.2 ampere is going through this lamp. So you know that 0 0.6 is going through this lamp. If 0 0.6 is going through this lamp, they don't disappear, they keep on walking. So also 0 0.6 go through this lamp and then they come together here with the 1.2 and they go to better, together back to the battery, to the power source. Now the voltage. We have 1.5 voltage, so the ampere here, they split and the voltage doesn't split. So this lamp gets 1.5 voltage and after that they have to return to the battery. So this one gets all the 1.5 voltage. Here we have to divide it. They're identical, just like in the question. So we have to divide it. This one gets 0 0.75 and this one gets 0 0.75 because uh, they have gotten uh, 1.5 divided by 2 and this one gets half and this one gets the other half. Here the amperes are empty again and they return back to the battery. So this is how uh, you work with series here and with parallel there. So this is a mixed circuit. Another example, this one, uh, you can try for yourself if you now know all the amperes and all the voltage of all the lamps. Uh, I will now give the answer. So we have 1.8 ampere coming out, coming out, and then you see that 0 0.9 is coming here. So the other 0 0.9 will go here. And together they will return here and they will go through the lamp. So this one has 1.8 amperes. Now for the voltage, if we look at this circle here, this circle needs to be 1.5 voltage. And you see that here they already lost 0 0.75 voltage. So that means that here they you lose the other 0 0.75 voltage. The same for this circle also needs to be 1.5 voltage. So here we see this one 0 0.75. So this one also has to be 0 0.75 voltage. So this is how you uh, do this mixed circuit. Another mixed circuit. This one looks difficult. We have got already uh, some information, but try to determine the current and voltage of all these lamps. So just pause the video and try it for yourself and we, I will now give the answer. So we have 1.8 amperes coming out of the power source. They go through this wire and then a part goes here, the 0 0.9, and the other 0 0.9 goes down here. So this one will get 0 0.9 amperes. It doesn't stop there. They continue on walking. The amperes always continue on walking. Then we don't know how many go here, but we see that 0 0.3 are going through this lamp. So if this lamp is getting 0 0.3, that means that this lamp is get, getting the same 0 0.3 because those apes, they don't disappear. They just keep on walking with their bags of voltage. So now we know that if the 1.8, 0 0.9 was going there, 0 0.9 was going here, 0 0.3 will go there. So this one will have 0 0.6. And together they will come back here to this one. So 0 0.9 plus 0 0.6 is 1.2. Plus 0 0.3 is 1 point, uh, sorry, not 1.2, 1.5. Plus 0 0.3 is 1.8, and that's what's here. This one we ignore because these are the same as this one, so we cannot count them double. So now the voltage. We have 1.5 voltage, and if we look at this circle here, we see that there's only this lamp. So this lamp will use the 1.5 voltage because the rule is that if they get 1.5, they have to uh, be empty here, and it's the only way to lose volts. So this one will be empty, and they will use 1.5 volts. This one is a little, a little bit difficult or, or different because here they already lost some volts, half of it. Here 
they will lose the other half because after that they will return to the power source. So that will be 0.75 volts. Now the last one, so we go down here. Uh, from the 1.5 we lose 0.75 because that's used by this lamp so we have 0.75 left half of it of not half of it 0.5 is used so 0.75 minus 0.5 and the rest will be used by this one because then the amperes will return so that will be 0.25 so if we add these together so this one plus this one plus this one we will have the 1.5 which we had at the beginning and that's also the rule so every circle needs to be the 1.5 volts that's it i hope you know the difference between series and parallel circuits uh, if you found this video useful please let me know by liking it and of course subscribe for more videos thanks for watching